Hello and good evening. My name is John. We're playing Frog Detective 1 at the Haunted Island. It's part of my Steam cleaning series where I go through every game in my Steam library eventually, then arbitrarily rate and or review them after a bit of play time. We're going to hit new game and find out what this is together. Because I picked these games out at random. Look at that frog. Walk? Frogs don't walk. Oh, okay. First person, huh? Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How's things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, Selimat Data Datang Kimbali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. And they've been on the island for two weeks. You know? Whoa. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's ability is far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know. It sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo. Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. Basics are, there's a sloth who's been hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Ah, oh, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Now I can right-click the things to see things up close. Yay! One of six achievements. He's got a knife. Oh, that's main. That was a knife. Okay. That's my house. Time to solve a mystery. There's no bed. It's just a table, a magnifying glass, and a phone and a lamp. Grace Bruxner presents. Frog Boatman. Oh, a fraud detective adventure. Okay, it's an adventure game. Guess I could have guessed that from what was going on. Programming by Thomas Boker. Good jam. Starring the detective. Martin. Larry. Mo the Mouse Mouse. Bernie Sanders. Fresh X. And the rest. I was hoping for that. Case number one, The Haunted Island. Do it, Frog Detective. Maybe a man in a suit. Hi, it's me, Larry. Hell, I did not do it. Huh? The noise are not coming from me. I didn't. Hi, Larry. Did not make those spooky noises. That's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just, I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing. 
Oh, you're not. That's such a relief. Can I? Are you gonna ask me questions? Yeah, ask them then. The questions, I mean. The noises. What can you tell me about the noise? Firstly, I'm not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. Huh? What? They're coming from the caves in the forest. Why haven't you told anybody? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to what us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird because I do listen. Maybe they mean, I'm really a great listener. So how do we get into this cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. Explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, and a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just the standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into the cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me then. The questions, I mean. All right. Nothing right now. I'm good, thanks. What's some pasta? Yum, but it's not mine. Oh. Koala, hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Yeah, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that useful, unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea, but it's safer here than up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said, you don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask you why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. Huh? I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice. Right? I didn't even be able to find one though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of the here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything else you need to know? What can you tell about the ghosts? Well, not much, I guess. I hear noises come from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Hmm, maybe two weeks. Whoa, are your feet weak curly? You, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. Is there anything else you need to know? These characters don't seem like they're fully balanced in certain ways. It's your thing. They're cute, though. Who are you waving at? Oh, maybe you're waving at me. Who took my sunglasses? Who took my sunglasses and gave them back? By me. Remember, do not split up when searching for a ghost like in Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Might have been handy. Got a magnet. Okay, we committed our first crime. Some whole noises need some tom tomatoes for soup. Who is ghost? I'm not qualified. Can you kiss the crab? Hmm, I should listen to the sign. I don't listen to signs. Why are you back here? Good question. What? What? Oh, hey, spider. Okay, well, let's give... Oh, hey, Crocs. So this, let's give this koala their magnet. I was with the questioning. Is there anything you need to know? I brought you a magnet. What? Like a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Got a shell. Uh, 
smile, I made him happy. Can't get any further down. Oh, what did you want? Hey, this is Bernie. You're the detective, right? The one that Monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I'm so glad I finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why'd you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you do that? Like that. Jealous a ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One only smart people could figure out, like me. Still could have been a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else you want to know? About this hole. Maybe yeah, about this noise from this hole. I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'll be good at the other jobs. I'd be good at other jobs, I'm just letting you know. But it does seem like the noise coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem to be out, out of their worldly somehow. They have a weird and distant tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. What else do you want to know? Secret agent. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Ugh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. Even I can't be a secret agent, things I get for magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. What else do we want to know? I give my magnifying glass. Get your own magnifying glass. Well... Part of me can't help but thinking this is an adventure game. I mean, they did say that, so that's probably the part that, that thinks that. Some of these bugs are creepy. So I was gonna take a rest. Oh, a broom. Okay, got a broom. Seems like a very small island. Oh, there was someone there. Hmm. Very cute snake. Orbit. Ah, stop right there. Huh? Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're not very fra they're very fragile and small, aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still gonna stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I'm protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry, I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but... What shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I have to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. The cave. You know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. Not even sure it is a cave. Just looks like a pile of rocks if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll get to agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. No one pronounces it pata, potato. I do. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Ask me questions. Just be careful. You want a big shell? Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha. Ha 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 ha. You fool. Hey. Sorry, it's just that there's no, not many big shells around here. If I only get one, sure. This magnifying would be useless to me, but I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Ask me questions, just be careful. Big shell. A big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells, but I won't need another big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm not standing. I'm standing, still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Yay. 
I guess now we have two. Okay. So now we go to him. Questions, questions, questions. I was very bad playing glass of interested. Interested, are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing out more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything else I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I can give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. It's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy. It's pasta. The name of Mate is assated from the deliciousness of the magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever, would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. All right. We're making some progress here. It's two trades. So I guess we gotta to talk to everybody to make all the trades. And then we can... Yeah. Can I just go? This is fun, but I gotta get back to work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this looks to be like what it is. <laughs> I'm not saying that's bad or anything. It's just, it's a little adventure game. Pasta, broom, item trades, get the ingredients for the, the uh, bomb. Who is, oh wait, this is that creepy monkey? Sloth. Okay. Pretty cool. Cheers.